Look, David, I know you're obviously on the on the music side of things. You're quite yes. keen to talk about Adele. What do you make yes. of what is going on with Adele? I find that extraordinary, really. I mean, I remember the old adage, the show must go on. And obviously it doesn't apply in her case. I feel very sorry for the people who have spent a fortune on tickets and travel and hotels and uh, can't get their money back. And I think if it was going to happen, I think she could have decided a little bit earlier. Um, I think to do it at the last minute, it is really very, very unfair. Uh, and I don't think you can completely blame it on COVID. I know a lot of things have been cancelled because of that. But um, I think, yeah, as an old pro, us old pros think the show goes on, don't mm. we? It's a bit of a funny story, isn't it? Because I feel like there's something that we're not being told yes, about it. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't quite add up. And I, I, I sort of was thinking about, you know, when she did the ITV special and she started one song and then had to restart it. And I, it made me wonder, is, is it because she's having nerves or problems with getting her performance together? I don't know. I mean, she does, as Anne was saying earlier on, she does suffer from stage fright. Yeah. So maybe, it's, maybe just the idea of doing Caesar's Palace is just too much. I mean, it would be understandable that you'd feel overwhelmed by it. But wouldn't she be? I mean, she's, cause she's this sort of honest type. She's upfront about things, isn't she? I mean, she, if she was struggling with that, wouldn't she say, rather than just... Cancelling well, the but isn't yeah. saying my show's not ready because I'd be a bit of a cover, wouldn't it? If she wasn't ready, then you know, the show wouldn't be ready. I don't know. I'm speculating. I think there is another <laughs> side of this as well, which is that, you know, I've been to Vegas and the shows there are very spectacular. Mm -hmm. I saw Dean Martin with uh, a 40-piece orchestra behind him. Another show called Hallelujah Hollywood, where people fly out over the audience. You know, the acts come flying out on wires. And I think for her just to sing, some people have said it would be enough if she just sang the songs. Mm. But I think she probably wanted to give them a bit more of a show. So in fairness to her, I think that may be part of it. Oh, you saw Dean Martin. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's quite something. Oh, wonderful. He came out with a drink in his hand. I was watching with Ernie Wise. We were there. What? There in the audience. He came up <laughs> Sorry, with... Yeah. So Sorry, hold on. Sorry, yeah. we Ernie Wise, you were out with Ernie Wise? Yeah. Well, we were on a trip with Thames Television. We were selling, selling British programs to the American market. And as a treat at the end of the week, they took us to uh, Las Vegas. And we went to see Dean Martin at the MGM Grand. He came up with a drink in his hand and he looked at the orchestra behind him and he, he looked at the audience and he said, what are these people doing in my bedroom? <laughs> so Ernie Mike Wise said to me, he said, he doesn't drink. He said, it's, it's a gimmick. He said, nobody could have that impeccable timing mm. if he drank. Wow. But what an act. Wow. Yeah. Wow, I don't know if I'd be more impressed with the act or the company. <laughs> yeah, that's or amazing, isn't like it? Yeah. Uh, he was one of the Rat Pack, wasn't he? He was one of the Rat Pack, yes. Him, Sammy Davis Jr., yeah. Sinatra. Yeah, uh, there are a few others. And they, and they yeah. used to do a residency at Las Vegas, yeah. yes. and that must have been quite something. Well, the, show, the shows were very spectacular, so I can see from her point of view that perhaps she thought just singing the songs was not enough. But uh, I think she's let a lot of people down. I wonder if they'll still buy her records after this. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's a huge amount of pressure. I mean, she's only, what, early 30s? She's very young something. still. I think people forget because she has this kind of old, mm. old head on, you know. She's very wise, isn't she? Mm. And um, the emotional depth of what she sings about, you know, just she could be at any age, actually, in, in, many, in many ways. But I don't know. People absolutely adore her. So I think, and I think the fact that she did a personal video and didn't hide the fact she was upset will probably... You know, it'll probably play. I know, but on yeah. the other hand, I, I've been seeing in the news bulletins um, in the last 24 hours people in tears because they were going to Las Vegas, mm. holiday of a lifetime, yeah. Yeah. Going to see, and they were going there to see Adele. Yeah. Um, and just in the last minute to hear that they yeah. that, that their dream is shattered, actually, and they spent all that money going Some there. of the yeah. tickets were incredibly yeah. expensive, apparently up to £22,000. Who's got £22,000 <laughs> to go to a show? Love it's it. amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Love it, but I suppose it'll They'll get their money back for the ticket, I guess, just not anything, anything else.